Hi, this is Derek W. Truesdale. I'm preparing to do a video on screen capture, but I need your help. First of all, make sure you're watching in high quality so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Anyway, there are so many different settings that on YouTube and different PCs that people have, different monitors and, and different ways that everyone can watch. That It's hard to develop a really good strategy for screen capture, but I've come up with three of them. And I need you guys to help and kind of vote for the one you want so that it'll help me as I uh, make this screen capture video, which I already did once before, but then they changed their settings and I almost did it again and then they changed their settings again. So uh, hopefully we'll be doing all right. Uh, just look for a little box that says, ignore all this stuff, click here for the new video. Anyway, this is the first method and it's the watch and high quality method. And if you just imagine your whole computer monitor, what we have here is a little box that's shaped uh, like this YouTube video. And as you move the mouse, it'll the box you know will move and follow the mouse around. So obviously you're not getting the whole screen in there, but as you can see, the detail is pretty sharp, and I think it works pretty well. Big advantage for this is that the people watching on low connections will have a good chance of keeping up because. Look, the longer people have to wait to watch your video, the more likely they're going to look at the other links and, you know, just move on to another video. And uh, you're watching in high quality now, I hope. But if you'll notice, if you were to go to the normal quality, then it's actually not that bad. Like, you can kind of tell what's going on. But in just a moment, I'm going to have you click to the watch in HD video. And there are some problems that can develop from that. Uh, in fact, I'll have you do that right now. We'll move on to part two.